Um. Somebody in Anderson named her kid Amaretto. Chick's got no class. I named my kid Jaeger Meister. <laughs> That's the name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deborah Wilson, and actress Shannon Sosaman from the film A Night Tale actually named her son Audio Science. Apparently, the father used to work at Radio Shack. <laughs> I'm Jim J. Bullock, and I just learned that John Travolta named his son Bingo. What's even stranger, he named his dog John Travolta Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got it right? You'll find out tonight on Balderdash. Starring Elaine Boozler. Thank you very much. Oh, you're just trying to get on my good side, but I don't know the answer, so I can't help anyone. Hey, welcome to Balderdash. We're bluffing. We're we're making stuff up. Some of us are telling the truth. Here's something true. We have three fabulously funny people to make you laugh tonight. Give it up for Regan Burns. Thank you. Deborah Wilson. Jay Bullock. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, whatever, whatever. Deborah Wilson had the true answer to our first question That's of right. the evening. Yes, the true celebrity offspring name was Audio. What? Science. Audio she named Science. Audio Science. Audio Science. Well, that kid ain't gonna be busted for downloading music, Ooh. right? <laughs> Yeah. Our other two stars were full of balderdash. That's the challenge facing our contestants tonight. You guys have to figure out which of our celebrities may be telling the truth or who may be full of balderdash. A correct balderdash bet pays off at one to one. The truth is a little harder to find. That pays off at two to one. And to get you started on your betting, we're going to give you each 250 big points. Uh, start, you know, uh, <laughs> use your way into the betting. And uh, I'm going to help you decide uh, how much to bet in this first category by telling you the category. It's going to be... Oh, strange phrases. That's what you're betting on, strange phrases. So lock in the wagers and choose either truth or disco dancing <laughs> or balderdash. Okay. This is Robert. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? Very good. Well, good. What did you wager? I wagered 246 on balderdash. 246. Four points left. Hopefully more. Tiffany. Yes. No I. Just no, Tiffany. It, no Annie in my name. Oh, got it. Tiffany. Yes. What did you wager? I wagered 186 on balderdash. Balderdash all around. Panel, here we go. The lines of Von Ebner definitely exist. What are the lines of Von Ebner? And we will start with eye candy, Regan Burr. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Nice. No. Nice. Eye candy. Stop it. All right. Uh, according to dentists, the lines of Von Ebner are those, those tiny stripes that you have, all of us do, on our teeth. You have to look very closely to see them. And if you're wondering what that big, thick stripe in Jim's teeth is, that's broccoli from lunch. <gasps> you're on TV, Jim. Have a little Stop class. It. Stop you know it. I Wait told a second. You. Tiny stripes that people have on their teeth, and of course, vertical yeah. stripes make your teeth look a little thinner, so that's good. Okay. <laughs> Deborah Wilson, what are the lines of fun, Ebner? The lines of Von Ebner are actually 500 unfinished, unfinished verses from the 19th century poet Klaus Von Ebner. And because they were unfinished verses, he's also the first 19th century poet to have ADD. Oh, wow. So ADD's That's been around a long deficit. time. That's deficit. Hey, look at that over there. Oh, so we never finished. Okay, Deborah Wilson says it's a collection of 500 unfinished verses, verses. the unfinished lines of Von Ebner. Jim J. Bullock, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Now, the lines of Von Ebner are the wrinkles that appear on the surface of Mars. And Dr. Von Ebner said that those wrinkles are caused by exposure to the sun and smoking. <laughs> no, wait. That's what he told me. All right. Okay, Jim's you people go with me or you don't go with me. <laughs> go with you, but I was hysterical. So. Jim says that they're the wrinkle-like lines appearing on Mars. Deborah says they're a collection of 500 unfinished verses, and Regan says they're the tiny stripes people have on their teeth. You're both looking for balderdash, so pick a star you don't believe. Who did you pick, Robert? I selected Jim J. Bullock. Uh, I just don't believe that's correct. What? Okay, for a balderdash, it's Jim J. Bullock. Yep. And who did Tiffany choose? I was going counterintuitive. I picked Regan Burns because it actually seemed like it could be, so I'm going against my own logic. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's see what the lines of Von Ebner are. Oh, oh, that was bad. Can't be counterintuitive, no. It'll cost you a bit. You're down to 64. It will pay off for Robert, though. You chose the correct person for Baldinash. You're up to 496. The night is young. It's anybody's game. Come on back and see how it shakes out. Baldinash will be right back. I cut through menopause. Disc free call. It's time for more Balderdash. Here again is the lane for his look. It's time to meet our contestants. This is Robert Wampler from Chicago, Illinois. Oh, I love that city. It's a great city. It is. Great city. What do you do? Uh, I'm a restaurant manager, and I'm also a semi-professional poker player. So. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. So you're used to gambling, and okay, watch uh, their trying. poker faces. Sometimes Regan wags his tail when he gets a good uh -huh. uh, answer. So <laughs> be careful. Good to know. <laughs> This is a lovely name, Tiffany Jelinek. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany Jelinek. What does Tiffany Jelinek do? Uh, I teach Shakespeare to high school students. Wow. Actually, yes. That's great. Yeah. That must be uh, a challenge. It's challenging. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to show them that's fun. It could be fun. Yes. And where are you from? I'm from Fort Collins, Colorado. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, good luck to both. Thank you. You could clap for Tiffany Jelinek. Okay, we're going to up the ante in this round. We're giving you each an additional 500 points with which to wager. Tiffany, you are now at 564. Robert, you're at 996. You got to bet at least 250 on each of the following questions. Here's the first category. Okay, amazing animal organizations. Amazing animal organizations. Lock in those wagers for truth or balderdash. How much did you wager, Robert? Uh, 426. 426 on? For balderdash. Balderdash. And Tiffany Jelinek. Wow, he's a big better. I only bet 289 on Balderdash. Okay, well, we'll see. 289 on Balderdash. Animal lovers are among the most loyal and sometimes peculiar of people. Therefore, it will not be a surprise that one of these three animal organizations actually exists. Act Debra. Actually, this does exist. It's one of my actually favorite animal organizations. It's called the Canine Freestyle Federation. Freestyle? And it's, it's, it's all about dogs. It's about a competition every year that's held for canine freestyle dancing with your dog. The owners dance with the dogs and it's held every year. But it's funny, you know, because in my day we just called it prom night. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the canine, and it's, it's, but it's a fun organization to watch every year. And it's the Canine Freestyle Federation. Okay, so says Deborah Wilson. What says Jim J. Bullock? Well, I've done a lot of charity work for this organization, AARF, which animal art is really fun. <laughs> What they do is they so, do? no, it's so it's so cool. Well, you take us. your animal and you you dip your animal in paint that's you know safe for the little animal, and you let them run. Hey, you people! You let them run all over the canvas and make paintings. And my dog just loved it until he cut off his ear and went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Regan Burns. Say. Oh my. <laughs> so, Tiffany, you teach Shakespeare, huh? <laughs> yes. Doth thou know how hot thy maketh when she looketh my way? You don't call to my candy for nothing wow. over here. Huh? Oh, well. We'll talk after the show. <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you about doggy time enthusiasts. These are people who love dogs so much that they actually tell time the way dogs do. Which, as you know, seven years of dog time is equal to one year of human time. And I dated a girl from the club, and I'll tell you what, for a 185-year-old, she had it going on. <laughs> Okay, Regan Burns says it's doggy time enthusiasts. Deborah Wilson says the real organization is the Canine Freestyle Federation. Jim J. Bullock says it's animal art is really fun. You are both looking for balderdash. Pick a star you don't believe. Whom did Robert not believe? I did not believe Regan Burns. No. Nope. Ah, sorry. Okay, balderdash for Regan and Tiffany. I think the balderdash is Jim J. Bullock. What? Okay. I'll oh, have to believe it. <laughs> okay, let's see what the real organization is. Oh, good for you. Excellent work. Very good work for both of you. It's going to pay off. Two good balderdash bets. Tiffany, you're up to 853. Robert, you're up to 996. Oh, Robert, you're up to 1422. I was a little slow in my adding. I've got to take off my shoes when I count. Okay, we're going to give you a chance to catch right up by going straight to our next category, which is Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation. It'll be something about language, I guess. Duh. 
Robert, what did you bet? I bet uh, 550 on Boulder Dash. 550 on Boulder Dash. Tiffany? Ooh, 550 on Boulder Dash. Oh, I sense a little chemistry going on here. <laughs> okay, panel. When American products are introduced in other countries, their slogans don't always translate. See if you can spot the genuinely bad translation. And we will begin with Nickelodeon's own Jim J. Bullock. Okay, in China, okay, when the slogan for Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, finger looking good, <laughs> finger looking good in Chinese translate is eat your fingers off. <laughs> Stay with me, people. So whenever you're in Beijing, you do not want to order the chicken fingers. <laughs> Jim says don't order the chicken fingers in China because KFC translated to eat your fingers off. Eat your fingers off. Okie dokie Regan boys. Elaine, in Thailand, the slogan for American Airlines, there's something special in the air, translates to there's something strange in the stars. Oh. I was on a flight to Thailand on American Airlines recently and the in-flight movie was Snow Dogs. That coincidentally translates into, my God, somebody get me off this plane. <laughs> okay, Regan says that American Airlines slogan translates to a strange experience in the stars. Deborah. Robert and Tiffany, you're going to have a hard time because all Asian languages are difficult for translation and Japanese is no different because the Eminem slogan, which is, you know, melts in your mouth, not in your hands, unfortunately in Japanese translates to burns off your mouth won't melt your hands. And that's true. And unfortunately, I know a lot of Japanese people who love Eminems, but apparently they don't have a mouth anymore. Oh, that had to hurt. It hurts. Oh, I bet you it did. Deborah says Eminem slogan, burns off mouth, won't melt hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim says it's KFC, eat your fingers off. And Regan says American Airlines, a strange experience in the stars. Thank goodness you're looking for Balderdash. Pick a star. He's just getting better and better over there. Okay, Robert, who'd you go with for Balderdash? I went with Regan Burns because uh, it worked last time. So we'll and plus, no one you. thinks they'd show snow dogs on a plane. No. Can't no. be that cruel. Okay, <laughs> Tiffany? Uh, for Balderdash, I went for Deborah Wilson. I haven't picked her before, so. So you just, uh, now you're just now random just <laughs> dialing from the phone book. All right. <laughs> okay, what slogan did not translate well? Let's see it. Oh, look at that, Jim J. Bullock. Good again for both of you. That's pretty darn good. That's going to pay off again. Yeah. Tiffany, you're now up to 1403. Let me get my shoes off to count where Robert is up to. 1972, pulling away a little bit. Will Tiffany catch up? We'll find out if you come on back. The closed captioning provided by... I... Balderdash is back. And here again, Elaine. Tiffany can catch up to Robert in our determining round. We're going to add 1,000 points to each of your scores. Tiffany, you're at 2403. Robert, 2972. You must bet at least half your bank in this round, and you're betting on truth only for a two-to-one payoff. The category is... Marvelous Movies. It'll be visual. Marvelous Movies. Lock in those wagers for truth only. And in this round, we don't reveal your wages until after we take a look at the movies. And we will see another truly golden oldie film trailer if we look this way. Two, one, zero. Streak through a barrage of hidden dangers. Meteorites! movies here, don't we? Regan, what's the name of that classic? Well, I auditioned for that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see why they chose who they did. That's called Voyage to Mars. It's about the first manned expedition to the planet Mars. Okay. I haven't seen it, but I heard they get there and then they turn around because apparently they forgot their spacesuits. Oh, <laughs> no. Last, I, last I checked, Duh. you can't breathe with the turtleneck on. <laughs> Okay, Voyage uh, to Mars. Uh, Deborah, what's the name of this movie? Actually, I auditioned for that, too, but when I read the script, the black person dies first, so I decided not to go out for it. Uh, oh. um, but it's actually called Rocket Ship XM, and it's about a, a, a trip to the moon that goes awry, 
But at the end of the movie, it's not until you leave that you find out that XM stands for extremely miserable. Oh, <laughs> but awry is a wonderful word. Deborah says it's rocket ship XM. Jim, anything awry in the title? No, this is an incredibly boring movie called Meteorite Attack. And believe me, it is nothing more than 90 minutes of Lloyd Bridges sitting there watching giant fiddle faddle whiz by. <laughs> That's all it is. Okay, Jim says it is called Meteorite Attack. Meteorite Attack. Tepper says it's Rocket, Rocket Ship, Ship XM. XM. And Regan says it's Voyage to Mars. You've seen it. You're looking for truth. Pick a star. And we will not reveal your picks until we see the name of this gem. Pick Deborah, and did you bet enough? I bet 2,001 points. Nice big bet on? For Voyage to Mars. Oh, on Regan. That's not good. That will take you down yeah, to 402. Did. But sit tight. You never know where it could go. Robert, what did you come up with? I wagered 1525 on Rocket Ship XM. Oh, well, that sounds like a winner to me. Did you have a good time playing? I did. I'm sorry Thank to say you. goodbye. That's it was wonderful to have so you. Nice. You're welcome. You won. You pulled your way. You did it. Garage. Who would you like to play with? Deborah Wilson. Deborah Wilson. Keep betting on a winner. Let's meet her down there. Follow me down the steps. We'll be right back to play the barrage with Deborah Wilson and Robert Archamp. We'll be back with more Balderdash. With all 100 1951 or visit mensfacts.com today. wisely chosen the fabulous Deborah Wilson to play alongside with him on the Balderdash Barrage. We have two great prizes up for grabs today. Here's John Machida to tell us about the first one. It's a digital mini camcorder. <laughs> Capture all your favorite memories on video and in still photos with this Sony digital camcorder. So sleek it even fits in the palm of your hand from the good guys. We like it. We like it a lot. And here's John with our grand prize for today. It's a luxurious Palm Springs getaway. You and a guest will enjoy your own luxury villa at La Mancha Private Villas and Spa Resort, a romantic dated Mediterranean village located in the heart of beautiful Palm Springs. You'll be treated to fine dining at the award-winning Don Quixote Restaurant, plus relax beside your own private pool. La Mancha Private Villas and Spa Resort, a Moonstone Hotel property. Back to you, Elaine. Well, that's pretty cool. You can't lose today, right? Okay, so how do we get to Palm Springs? Well, there are ten letters in the word balderdash. Behind nine of those letters is the mini camcorder. Behind one of those letters is a trip to Palm Springs. We'll narrow the field by playing a game for 45 seconds. I'll read you sentences that end in total balderdash. You have to correct them to make them true. For example, if I say, according to the saying, hope springs backward, you would say... Eternal. Hope springs eternal. Correct. If you don't know it, say pass, and then Deborah has a chance to answer. You don't know it, say eternal. pass. Eternal. <laughs> yes. Only if he says pass. Oh, oh. We'll go on to the next one if you both say pass. For every correct answer from either of you, we're going to take away one of the letters with the equipment and get right to your vacation. Okay? Sound good? Ready to play the big balderdash? Let's, go. Okay. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock, and the clock starts now. The Civil War general of the Confederacy was Jeb Bush. Pass. A pass. Robert E. Lee. MC Hammer sang, you can't sing a note. Pass. You can't. Stop the music. You can't touch this. The Garden State is bad for hay fever. The Garden State. Pass. New Jersey. Yes. The comet strip Peanuts was created by Jumbo the Elephant. Pass. Charles and Schultz. Charles Schultz. Yes. Each year, Columbus Day falls on its face. The 4th of July? October 12th. On the Brady Bunch, Mike Brady earned his living as a nanny. Pass. Architect. Yes. Nasser was a former president of the Friars Club. Pass. Nasser, president of... Egypt! Yes! Darwin wrote on the survival of the miniseries. Pass. Finished? Yes! The only state to grow coffee is having trouble sleeping. Hawaii. But five okay. right! Very good! Very good! Say I picked you a very good back. person. She I had your back. Person. You got five right. Let's lose five letters from the word Balderdash. You've got five letters. Pick a letter. Let's see what you've won. I'll pick the first A. We'll take the first A. Camcorder. Very cool! It's a, it's a really nice letter. I know! Where was Palm Springs anyway? 
There it is, second A. We had a good time playing. We hope you had a good time watching. Come back and see us soon. And you know what? Be kind to animals. Rescue pets make the best pets, and that's no ball to dash. See you next time right here, and I'll stop pointing. Okay, thanks for watching. Some of our contestants may receive the following. Get personal with VTEX Moots Vandable Cordless Phone System. Large color displays let you personalize pictures for wallpaper or picture caller ID. Record your own ringtones, too, from VTEC. seconds someone dies from tobacco cigarettes will eventually kill one-third of smokers now that's reality watch as 10 smokers face their addiction and are forced to quit cold turkey there's one person off cigarettes that's one life save. only on i ah. independent television